Hello everyone and welcome. Bog mod here, and as you can see, Age of Absolutism here in EU4. And we have different ways we can get ourselves points. Be a multicultural nation, be an emperor of China, which we're not. Um, when the religious war, one didn't happen. Lots of absolutism, not going to happen with us, because we're peasants. Have a land force limit of 200 regiments. Nope. Five universities, that we can do. Trade companies, no. Uh, so we're going to try and work on getting ourselves some universities. I would also like... Um, diplomatic candidate. Yeah. Give me some diplo points. We are quite ahead in tech, so we will have an opportunity to spend some of this to build up our regions. Ooh, just not to share B. Other options of invasion include Lubeck. Um, Frankfurt. Magusa, Scotland, Saxony, Savoy, Aachen. A lot of minor powers there. Mecklenburg and Nuremberg. There's Mecklenburg. Magdeburg. Hmm. Sligo, Brandenburg, Ferrara. Hmm. Uh, Sligo, sorry. Should pronounce it correctly. Could hurt Brandenburg, maybe. Pick up that fight with Lübeck. Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. The big one is I would like to punch Denmark in the face. But Denmark is big and scary. We consult Ye Olde Ledger. Denmark has no army. Why do you have no army, Denmark? What about Sweden? They do. Liberty desire one hundred percent. I really want to declare war on them now. They have no army. You know, I'm going to check one more time just in case my brain was all blurb. Um, close that. Index armies. They have two mercs. Okay, what what's happened to you, Denmark? In a I ask in a serious way. No they are they have little prestige. They're making money. They have a treasury. They have troops. I oh, know that's me. Um oh here we are. There. Oh no. Oh no. Inflation. Five techs behind me. Uh, oh, what about their navy? Uh, before I before I pick this fight. Not much. You know what? Let's uh, let's throw caution to the wind. Mm. All right. 
Fighting at sea was not the one to do. At least not without an admiral of talent. Myself just two of those in case we need to pick a fight. There we are. Now, obviously, this is an opportunity. Um, while they are being ravaged by particularists and rebels. This is indeed our chance to... Make a northern push, and no one will care about the land we take, because it's not part of the Holy Roman Empire. Yes, yes, come... Come closer, sir. Dedicate, there you are. Commit to that move. And let me... Oh, 4,000 dead. Now, I don't believe that the Sweden is willing to help them right now. Which is great. Gotcha. Don't know where this army's gonna run to, but whatever. And I'm happy to stab these guys whenever they pop up. That is a goodly amount of wasted ducats. All right, well, let's see if we can go get our our naval revenge. Because I think without taking this fort, they're not going to break. Yay, we sank that. Are they intimidated by my fleet? What is this? The, uh, the South German organ tradition. Spend a whole lot of money and some admin. And we get we get the fancy music. Uh preludes. Chaconese. You know what? We have enough problems right now, we don't need German music. will be the question whether or not we can take this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello, debate. Uh, what are my options? There we go. That diplomatic candidate, thank you. Oh. Oh no! I guess I have to fix this first. We've got Bohemian Crystal, which is uh, neat.
There we go. And goodbye. Ooh. Now I can call it Bohemia, but now I don't want to. Couple more boats. One, one, four. Two, one, two. Technically, we have the superior navy if we decide to push that fight. And you know what? I'm all for taking that risk. Once I... Ooh. Once I pop him. We did it! We crushed them! Perfect! Excellent! Yes, I will let Lorraine out of the war. Because now it's just us against the Dane. And we are in a good position for that conflict. <clears throat> Alright, but I do need to fix my ships. Five thousand troops? <gasps> Sweden broke free! It's fantastic news, because this is an even greater weakening of Denmark. I'm going to build some more frigates. Back to my limit. you can return to the rest of the fleet. Uh, let the two damaged guys go back home. Got the troops. Nice, nice, nice. Once their capital falls, and then I'll be able to push for what I need, for what I hunger for. It's, it's not heavily developed land, but it's land that really won't enrage people when I take it. And in the end, oh, there we go. I'm going to take Holstein too. It will be... if I don't... Hamburg, Lübeck, Munster, maybe. I will... T You know what? No guts, no glory.
All right. Well, I'm I am very pleased with this, including Holstein, which is a port. We need a port to get that sweet, sweet technology boost. The technology, technology boost. Point six four. See, it's so much better. Point well, seven eight. Still. <clears throat> No, 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 no. Geldern is definitely mine. Hmm. Check my Lubeck trade. Ended up with a decent number of troops left. I am very pleased with this, this success. Obviously, a couple little uh, outcroppings that aren't successful. You know, that's fine. Schleswig Holstein is finally under our rule. I will accept nod sharing. Because I would like to boost that. I would deeply, deeply like to boost that. <laughs> there we are. The very expected rebels. Let's go take more money from the English. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, excellent. And of course, acquiring these lands will have increased our naval limits. By deer. Which I will take advantage of. Oh, Denmark, you hate me now. And we took away the Swedish from you. I don't think anyone cares about the Danes anymore. I guess they're still strong enough. But they should have been weakened. No? 262. Wow, even with the penalty. All right. And we still have enough favors now that we can call in Bohemia if we do start a new war. Like, I don't know, against Lubeck. To take Lubeck. Or I just keep beating up on Denmark. It's a tough call. Rennish mm -hmm. needs to have at least 20 development in our states to be an accepted culture. Oh, all right. Well, that's, I think, Cleves. You know what? points. Oh, but I should hold off because we are going to get the Danes as a culture. And we will probably want the Danish as, a, as one of our accepted cultures. So hold off. Horstein, part of the... us. Excellent. Mm -hmm. 
It's only eight points. It's courage development. Actually, uh, yeah, we'll do it here. Ah, oh, Groningen, eh? I'll just do this. Oldenburg, you are cheap to develop. And thus, twenty points. There we are, level two would increase this. Let's see. Province is the center of trade of at least level 2. Check. Port neighboring province with global trade. Check. Knowledge sharing. Check. Trade power at least 15. Check. Global trade triggered in our capital. Excellent. Now, now it is the time to what? What do I want to do now? Expensive. Hmm. Hmm. Not about right away. Franz, who do you... Ooh, you hate me. Why do you hate me? Geldern, Fryland, Oversick, and really? That's weird. You're weird, France. Hmm. Um. I think I'm going to name the Danes as my next rival. Yeah. Oh, that's a wise move. Not enforced with ordinances, nor autonomy, or... Yeah, 15% autonomy is fine. Couldn't care less about that. Mm, this is going to be good. Oh, gold trade in Holstein. Wonderful. All right. Well, let's take a little peek around the world. Ah, North America with its much Castilian land. Oh, the Brits finally made their move in South America. Portuguese, very well developed. Interesting. All right. Japan's over here, I'd guess. China here. I'm not sure. I think China might have exploded. I'll have to see. Russia keeps getting bigger. Regimental Bride, nice. Ah, oh, let's get the rebellions. Mm. 
Iron working. Iron shot up in price, copper dropped in price. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Now this is also land, I think, that will be in need of the gift of a university. Oh, I lost a military engineer. Let's get Mr. Land Maintenance. has to stop eventually. It has to. I think. I really need to double check that. Anyways, we'll take a little break here. See you soon.